Matt Lenehan Boxing Social in association with Empire Fight Store. Forge Irish Stout, we're here. Eddie Hearn, Frank Warren. First question, are we going to go back to seeing you two going at each other in a few weeks? I think, listen, it's a different relationship now. I thought he was my best mate, but he's actually my son's best mate. They're best mate. Um, look, we're competitive people, competitive businesses. We have been for decades and we got a great event. And the fact we're working together shows that working together can create these things. And it's down, obviously, to the Riyadh season, it's excellent season. And it's brilliant. And I hope, and I believe it'll be the first of a few of them that we'll be doing. Eddie, we know you two have had a bit of back and forth. Now it's competitive rivalry and you're on the same table. But you're looking forward to a little bit of a dig here and there in a few weeks? Yeah, listen, I, I'm, I fully expect to completely lose my mind during that night. But not, you know, in a way of just desperate to win. But desperate to win for our guys as well. Like, we care about our fighters. And I think the beautiful thing about the 5v5 is it's a real good bunch of lads. I mean, obviously, we've got Deontay, who I'm working with for one night. But, you know, Craig. Ray, Ammo, Philip, a real like this is a massive chance for them and, and it's so refreshing to see those guys involved in a night like this because they can't believe what's happening to them and they can't believe they're a part of it and the great feeling about this concept is they're desperate to win for them but also for the team. You, know, you, you listen to Hamza, I want to win for Frank, you know I want to win for Queensbury and then you've got Craig, you know it's, it's a great great event obviously we've got tomorrow night then we've got Catchell v Taylor then we're straight back out on a Sunday and I can't wait. It's a, it's a, we're, in, we're in dreamland at the moment in boxing. How confident are you you get the victory over Matrim? I've got every confidence in my fighter, the same as Eddie has in his. That's what makes it such an intriguing situation. And there are some real genuine 50-50 fights there. I mean, they're not walkovers, none of them, are they? These guys are in fights and they, they have more, even more pressure in being in fights. They won't want to be one who loses on the team. Yes. So it's going to be brilliant. Eddie, but obviously Deontay Wilder, no one thought that would ever happen. But confident you reign supreme over Queensbury, bragging right? Yeah, look, as Frank says, like they're either 50-50 or they're 60-40, whatever you fancy, either way. You know, I mean, you can make a case for every fighter in every fight. It's the first time, really, you've seen five championship fights that are pure 50-50s like that, and, and at that level as well. And, you know, with the element of the captains and the double picks, etc., you know, you could have a situation where if Hamza Shiraz loses, they're, in, they're banging trouble. If Hamza wins, we might need Deontay to win by knockout in the last fight to win it for, for Matrim. I mean, then there'll be serious scenes. I mean, I won't get out of Deontay's backside for weeks. I mean, I'll, I'll literally go and move in with him if he can win the tournament for us. So, you know, I, listen, it's, as I said, just a dream time for boxing at the moment and, and looking forward to tomorrow night, next week, every week. Last one from me. I spoke to yourself yesterday. You were having a go at Ryan Garcia, and then 10 minutes later, I saw a picture of you hugging him. What's going on? I walked into the, the, the media bit, and he came straight over to me, and he went, Eddie, let's squash the beef. And I said, I thought you were going to chin me. And he went, oh, he said, let's have a photo. I want to post it and say we've squashed the beef. So he took a photo of me, but never posted it. So I don't know where it is. But listen, I said to him, listen, I hope you're innocent. But don't tell me that... I'm the reason that you failed a drugs test. You failed a drugs test. Now, whether you, whether it was contamination or whether you cheated, not for me to decide. The it's B sample, yeah. the B exactly. sample will tell you. But the reality is, is if the B sample comes back as positive, he had performance enhancing drugs in his system when he entered the ring. Unlucky or not, that's fact. I hope he's innocent. I like the kid. He's good for boxing, but he's got to deal with the situation. Final prediction for tomorrow night? I'll go Tyson Fury on points. Frank? He'll stop him halfway through the fight. Appreciate your time, Eddie and Frank Warren. Thank you.